Hello everyone, welcome back to Dishonored. James with you. Here we go again. I know the golden cat. Not as a patron. I'd have a lot. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I send a servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Why in the hell don't you go down there? You get some kind of badass or something? Got a cannon tied to your chest, ready to go down there and use it? You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Well, I kind of gathered that, I mean. Now what are you gonna do? Make it quick, guys. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and Perhaps again, someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Of course you think it's best. Corvo, what? a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Get to the point, man. Let's go. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. Smooth. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. The only problem is I won't change mine. Let's go, Sammy. 
I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Not bad. But now we got all the preliminary work out of the way, now comes the adventure. As always, I'd like to remind you this is a stealth game, so, we turk it, so we'll be taking our time. We still have some bone charts to upgrade. I'll probably do that either during the mission or right at the end of, the, of, of this mission. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hold up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you're bringing back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one for the watchtowers on Clapper. I like how Samuel just faced the obvious. Well, I wasn't planning on that to happen. <laughs> it must have hit one of those speakers. A minute ago I had height on this thing. You guys must be rookies. Where are you at? Ah, let's grab some free stuff here. Undertaker, we're gonna need that. Definitely gonna need that.
I got a fleet fighter and I'm still walking like I'm like my boots are embedded in concrete. Did you hear Morris was dragged off by the overseers for some black magic nonsense? <laughs> right night. <laughs> Sleepy time darts. Let's go. Gentlemen, sleep time. So nice of you to go to sleep. like I'm drunk here. Okay. Let's get it and get out of here. One more. We can hit the road. We are out of here. Now let's go down and get a key to the art dealer's back door. Basically, what I'm doing right now is when we go see Slackjaw, he's going to ask them to try to send us on a mission, but we're going to nip that mission in the bud by go ahead and doing it now. That way, when he asks us to do it, we've already done it. If that makes any sense. It will when the time comes. You'll see what we're doing. We picked up a, a card in there that has information on it. It's like a dictaphone. Only with uh, punch cards. You filthy mudlark. Let a tramp like you get elixir. We've been on half rations for a week. I ain't catching it. No, I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. Thank you, thank you, sir. You saved me. Well, they okay, won't be on half you. rations anymore, will they? I have they? nothing. Wait, take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house, the art dealer on the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there, probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. Again? <laughs> right. Well, the cleanup crew is here. Jump down on you like that. Don't do that. Stop it. <laughs> Sorry about that, Griff. Sorry about that, Griff. About that, Griff. About that. We knew he was there all along. Uh, not that we really need this food, but it's there, so what the heck. 
All right. Once again, we're in the soup. Right now, we're just after some cash. This is where these spring razors can really come in handy. Bad guy. Gotcha. I'm gonna dump you in the river. Now, nah, where was I? Like I say, them spring rangers come right handy. 